right, Zero Foxtrot came out with a new product. They have their surf shirts or on this bag it says the Zero Hawaiian. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. Zero Foxtrot at ZeroFoxtrot.com always ships their products in some great packaging along with some great swag like these stickers and these great cards along with some nice military history. So I got two uh, different styles. I got the Rhodesian camo and I'm wearing it with my matching Rhodesian camo Zero shorts now. The colors and patterns don't exactly match up as you can see, so uh, if you're thinking of having a matching outfit, it's not going to quite work out that way. Now when it comes to sizing, I'm a little disappointed. So uh, this is a size large. Looking at the pictures, I thought the sizing looked a little tight and uh, I did an email inquiry and they didn't even have the size chart up yet. I did get a reply to my email finally when they had posted a size chart and the size chart uh, I think was a little uh, off. It's a little tight on me for the uh, size large in my uh, past experience with other brands of shirts. So it feels pretty good up in this area and you see you get these uh, vents here that expand out. So up in this part of my body it feels fine. But the further it goes down it tends to tighten up a little too much for my comfort level. So I would call this more of a uh, athletic fit, slim fit, hipster fit. This is definitely not a traditional fit, a Hawaiian shirt in my experience. So uh, let's go uh, try on some different uh, things and I'll show you uh, how they look in comparison to this outfit. So here is a Columbia PFG Bahama 2 shirt, size medium, and it's significantly more spacious and roomy than the Zero Foxtrot shirt. So this one is uh, a much more comfortable shirt to me. I have a lot more space that uh, just gives me more airflow. It's a little longer down to the area that I like it to be. It's not as short as the Zero Fox Trot shirt. So it's just more comfortable to move around in for me. The uh, rear has a lot more give and movement. So a size medium and the Columbia Sportswear PFG Bahama 2. Here we have a Magpul Industries Extra Large shirt and uh, they definitely have their size large on the tighter, more uh, hipster fit, slim fit, athletic fit sizing level. Extra large, however, fits me fine. And this is very comfortable, less space. I can access all my various equipment and things in my pockets and everywhere else very nicely, so. Extra large Magpul Industries, perfect fit to me. Here we have an Arctis from the United Kingdom shirt, size large, and I'm very happy with the fit of this. Very comfortable shirt, got some nice ventilation features to it, great little pockets that I can uh, access from the side and the top. So this is a very nice shirt that fits me well. I'm always very comfortable in it and uh, quite a fan of the Arctis brand of clothing. So if you've never heard of them before, check it out. A-R-K-T-I-S, great stuff they make. And here we have a Kahala Hawaiian shirt, authentic, actual Hawaiian shirt in size large. It's a little big on me. Uh, Kind of goes down a little too much more than I would like and it's a little longer in the sleeves than I would like. Overall though it is comfortable. This is silk so it's definitely got that nice silky feel to it. And here we have another Kahala in silk and linen blend. This is a size medium and fits me a lot better so you can see the sleeves are uh, much more where they need to be to be comfortable and uh, just fits me rather better overall in general. Comes down to a much better appropriate height. And I have to say the uh, linen silk blend breathes a whole lot better than the pure silk. Although the linen silk blend wrinkles a lot more and uh, gotta do a little more ironing touch up. The silk is way easier to care for and it doesn't wrinkle as much. This one definitely is uh, a little more wrinkly. So 
overall, Zero Foxtrot isn't that much different than many other uh, the clothing companies today. There's a wide range of sizes that don't really match up on everybody. So, you know, you've seen that I've gone from medium to large to extra large, and there's a lot of things that fit very differently between each of the brands. So I'm just gonna knock on wood and hope that the Zero Foxtrot surf shirt or Hawaiian shirt Extra large size so fits me much better and just gives me a little uh, more of that looseness I need from here on down to give me the sizing that uh, is appropriate for what I need to do to move around and access all the things I need to access and be comfortable as I move around throughout the day. So uh, it's good to have a little flexibility and I just don't like things all bunching up and being tight on me down in here. You know, it's like my hips and uh, Everything down in here needs a little flexibility to let that air breathe and so I can access things very quickly in here and uh, do those things that we do, you know? So uh, we'll give it uh, a little pause while we wait to try on what it's gonna look like in the extra large. So I hope it fits, but uh, I'm a little worried about that sleeve length size. So we'll uh, see what happens. So this is kind of the standard outfit that I like to wear out and about most of the time. and. Uh, uh, well, you know, this uh, little bottom part kind of uh, definitely doesn't seem to stay together too well. And uh, it's very tight where it hits. And I usually like my shirts to uh, fall a little lower than this. So it's kind of a little high. Now, the fabric here does stretch pretty good. So it doesn't rise up too terribly much, but um, still very tight. Now it's kind of stretchy and sort of uh, will stretch out a good amount, but it's so elastic it goes back on the stretching. So it's just not loose fitting enough for my preference. Uh, I would call this at least a size medium in my past experience with other shirts that I wear. So this one I'm gonna send back and try an extra large and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that'll be a little more roomy. The only fear I have is these sleeves are very perfectly positioned. I'm a little afraid that a larger size will go down too low on my elbow, which I don't like. So uh, they got the sizing right for me up in the upper part. But then from here down, it's just too tight. And it's just like, oh, I need, I need it to breathe more on the sides and get more air circulation because, hey, in New Orleans where I live, it's really hot. I need the tropical breeze blowing in like a normal wine shirt. So let's do a little uh, comparison now. Okay, so here's the extra large Zero Foxtrot Hawaiian shirt slash surf shirt. Now uh, it's still uh, a little bit tighter, a little bit so down in the uh, hips and stomach area than I would like. And it's also a little uh, shorter than I would like. It comes up a little too high, a little too high. So I think they could have made it just a little bit longer in the front. So overall it is comfortable, it fits generally pretty well, and I was a little concerned with the extra large, the sleeves might hang down too low, but they uh, fit just right, right there pretty good. So, you know, overall it's a comfortable shirt, nice shirt. I would just like a little more looseness and a little bit more length because the uh, up here, I wanna put my shoulders and arms up here to stretch and do things, it definitely is, rising up a lot more than I would like. Now here's the surf shirt and uh, Rhodesian camo, and this one actually feels looser to me. I really uh, think this one's a little more loose and comfortable fitting on me. So maybe a little inconsistent in the sizing strategy, the way they've uh, designed these things. I feel a whole lot more looseness and breathability, and it seems to just kind of uh, have a lot more comfort level and loose hangingness to me. Now, same thing with the length. It's a little uh, shorter than I'd like when I raise my arms up. I don't like my shirt popping up and bending over and things. It's not exactly what I would like to uh, be going up like that sometimes when you gotta, you know, go up high to take a picture or something. So, this one though, uh, I wish the red one was the same looseness level. So, it's just a bit more loose, a little more comfortable. So. Just keep that in mind, there might be a little bit of variation in your shirt. There's also uh, spandex in here. So it's cotton spandex combination. 
So you might want to uh, maybe stretch it a little bit and I wouldn't dry it. I just kind of washed these in the washing machine and hung them up to dry. So just kind of uh, be aware. You don't want to shrink these if they uh, get any tighter than they already are. I'd want to keep them very flexible and loose. Personally, uh, some people like that tight fit. I like a loose breathable fit because when it's hot, I want that air circulation going all around me. And they do have a nice little vent in the back and under the arms here, so that is a convenient feature that keeps you well ventilated. I've tested these out, wore them out to some festivals, and they did pretty well. So overall, I do like the shirts with the caveat that I would like the run one to be the same looseness as this one. Maybe just a tad bit longer, just a little, a little bit longer, just a little tiny bit. So if you got value out of this video, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this video. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for Tips and I appreciate any help with that. Would you kindly also share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.